Hey what's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have another um, editing tutorial with DaVinci Resolve. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do 3D text, like in Fortnite montages. All the better edited ones will have like 3D text in front and this is what you're going to end up with. Like, I'm going to play it now. She said I hate my day job. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, first I have just these two clips. First I have these two clips just lined up. Um, they look pretty good together. She said I hate my day job. I don't feel it. I Okay, so yeah, see, that's pretty good, honestly, um, these two look pretty good, and the black screen in the middle adds, like, more contrast to it, because this song is, like, more of a sad song, so I want, like, a chill feeling, a sad feeling, I don't want, like, crazy, insane edits, I don't want that, really, so I just want, this is, like, I feel like this is really good, um, I got these from... A cinematic pack I don't record my own cinematics because like my I don't have like a recording card and when I try to record things they end up looking really bad so yeah I only have just these two they look good um first I'm gonna have to first do this with every single one of your montages turn on the clip equalizer and drag number two up <laughs> And what that does is it just makes like the bass deeper, like the beat drops harder. And I personally like have to use that every single time because it makes it so much easier. Um, and it sounds so much better too. So yeah. Um, so let's get right into the uh, 3D text. First, you want to go into Fusion. It's loading for me because I'm on a lower end device. Let's just drag this downwards here because we'll we'll have quite a bit of nodes, and it's going to be pretty complicated. It's a pretty complicated process. So first, what you're going to have to do is add a add a node called Tracker. So what you you search it up by pressing Shift and Space at the same time shift space um and then you get the search bar search, search up tracker it's the tra tracker it's uh this one the one that i have highlighted this one okay so yeah just drag that in here put that in boom um now we have a tracker for this kind of montage we don't really have a high contrast point so we're just going to use one single tracker point and yeah let's put the single tracker point like right here because we need high contrast and that f shot needs to stay in the frame at the, ho the whole time so let's see if it's still in the frame at the end yeah that's good um so we'll just keep it like right here at a high contrast point and what that means is like old town tilted is kind of dark everywhere the whole place is dark so you want to use it put it like somewhere bright just like this lamp or you could do it on the flowers but i just want the lamp it looks i don't know um you could do the flowers too but yeah so now we have that single tracker point we press this and then it's going to start tracking um just wait for it it's going to take a bit and hopefully it doesn't mess up and go hopefully the tracker point doesn't just like disappear anything but because that happens if you don't have like a point with high enough contrast that will happen so let's just let it track there we go track complete um it seems pretty good see it's a straight line you always want to have a straight line as the tracking like thing because that'll make it look better so yeah, now we have the first tracking point. Um, let's just go ahead and do the same thing with 
Wait, no. Actually, no. Let's just go ahead and do the next step, which is you'll need a render 3D node. It's this one. Render 3D. Add that. And just drag this, the, the, the gray one, onto the green tracker one. And what this does is it renders the 3D into, like, the 2D image. So now we have to get the 3D text. It's called text 3D. This one, just add it. And drag this point to that. And boom. So we have a text 3D. Go ahead and select this and press 1. So the text will be on this side. And you could navigate around this thing by pressing the middle mouse button. And to change angles, you click the uh, right click and just like go, you could do this. And basically you could do whatever you want to need to do here. So yeah, um, so what text are we gonna do? Um, uh, let's just first do, because probably, um, in, I'm gonna have to make a teamage soon, edit a teamage soon, so, yeah, I'm gonna do that, um, so, atomic introducing, atomic presents, okay, that sounds pretty good, um, and as you see here, it's not showing up. Why is that? Because th you're not telling what the the tracker to do anything. So go ahead and follow up. Follow. Um, click the tracker. Click the second window here. This one. Operation. It says none. That's why. Click match move. And there we go. We see the text. It's like way, way, way too big right now. So we could size that down a little. Um, now we could just move this. But anyways, yeah, we could just go here to the move, to the move. We could move it here. Click on that. Move it here. Move it here. Um, Y, we're going to move that down a little bit. Z, we could make it bigger, honestly. I want to make it... I want to make it so that it's n right next to the now let's make press enter here and delete that space so yeah um, um uh, yeah that looks pretty good now let's go back to rotation and put that right where we want it to be Now, as you can see, it does not look 3D yet, but we could change that by going down to the main text, extrusion, um, type, wait, no, my bad, extrusion, death, bump that up, it still doesn't look, it looks a little more 3D now, uh, yeah, hold on, extrusion, death, we could make that, like, thick, you see, um, it's changing, and yeah uh now it looks kind of weird so we're gonna go back to text 3d scroll up go to rotations honestly i want it to be on the floor actually that's gonna look a lot better so let's just make it so that it's sitting on the floor boom that looks pretty good we could even rotate the text even more. Boom. That looks perfect. Let's just rotate the text a little bit so that it's like... You could see the extrusion depth of it. And now what you want to do is you go ahead and... So we're going to just like, um, right now the text looks pretty ugly, um, being just blank white, it's not that good looking. So what I have done is we could put a texture on it actually. So hold up, let me find my image for the texture. Um, images. 
yeah, I have just a concrete texture. Um, it's nothing that much. So we drag this to. We can't like right now. If we can't drag this to text 3D, so what you want to do is click on text 3D. Um, click that. Click on the color brush tab. Go down, and it says material type image and now you could see a new green thing appeared and just drag that to there and boom it looks it looks a lot better now but it still kind of looks ugly so go ahead and enter another node shift space search up um directional light add that And we also need another merge 3D node. Um, hold up. So what you want to do is the the directional lights. Okay, this is a little bit complicated. We're going to have to reshape this. First, let's disconnect the three text 3D. And the now we put the Okay, so the merge 3D needs to be Here we go. Um there. So directional light connects to merge 3D media in and text is connected to merge 3d and then we'll wait hold up that's this the rectangle light nut light needs to be correct connected to the green one and text 3d needs to be oh god this is pretty complicated text 3d needs to be connected to that and that there we go so now it Directional light, where even is it? The directional light appears here again. And. Okay, so we added the directional light. And you can see it's not doing anything. It's the same exact thing. So what you're going to have to do is render 3D. Picture. Wait. Render 3D. And down here, enable lighting. And boom. That, there's the light there. Um, hold up. Let me find the directional light first. Um, directional light. You can move it, and then you could have like different contrasts. Um, I like it to be here. Now I don't like the font still, so we we go ahead and change the font. It's pretty. This is really easy. You go to text and font. I personally like big noodle titling. It's what I use on all my videos. Big noodle titling. What the? Big noodle titling. There we go. So atomic presents big with big noodle titling and the colors of this light isn't really good so if you want to change it we could change the light color I want to go for a green color I don't know why honestly let's go for like a silver color that that looks the best personally I think White looks really good too, honestly. Let's get there we go. So right now it says chilling on white. I actually like it a lot for this one. And yeah. I think this is basically it for what you need. Um I'm gonna go ahead and just move the text a little more to Move it to the right a tiny little more. That looks really good. So, um, yeah, we haven't played it yet. This is just on a single frame. We're going to have to play it soon. 
and we're gonna have to we, we want like a transition where the text spins into place and what you want to do is you go ahead and put the frame down like 50 frames and say 40 yeah let's just go with 40 frames right now on the 40th frame we're gonna keyframe all of this and then go to the first frame and then keyframe all of that and we're gonna have to change it that does not look good boom so rotates from here and then rotates sideways and rotates okay that looks pretty good honestly and let's see how this is gonna look it's gonna let's just go back to the edit page it's gonna take forever to render cuz my computer sucks but it's probably gonna take a bit to render for you too so just play it back keep on playing it back wait hold up so there's a problem because we I don't think we successfully keyframe the second this uh the one where it's supposed to go back to normal so from here um just give it 20 frames actually that seems good enough 20 frames and we're gonna just make it zero zero and zero and keyframe zero and boom we're good so now it's gonna render all over again cuz it takes a long time so yeah we're gonna just watch it render actually no we're just gonna wait for it to render and I'll get back to you when it's done just to render remember just keep playing it Okay, so now it has fully rendered. Let's go ahead and watch it. It's still lagging a little, but yeah, I'd say that looks pretty decent, honestly. Boom. Okay, so that is a good 3D text. This is gonna be it. Um, actually, like I have a second one to do, but. I'm probably not going to do it on this video because it's going to be the same exact thing. Find something high contrast and then like do everything again. So yeah, this, that's probably going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, hopefully this helped you out because I have not seen any other 3D text Fortnite montage things on DaVinci Resolve. So yeah, this is going to be like the first one on YouTube hopefully. And hopefully this blows up because the last one did actually pretty good. And hopefully this will blow up too. Um, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.